Hi everybody, this is Hanno the Honda Mackinen, and as you can see, we're playing another Sega Mega Drive game. Alright, and sorry about the little flapping sound that you're probably hearing right now. Uh, that is uh, from the capture device, unfortunately. Alright, so here's the cast. Donald Duck and Daisy Duck, Huey, Dewey and Louie, Goofy, Uncle Scrooge, and Gyro Gearloose. And, uh... Oh no, I didn't get the treasure. Oh no. Yep. That is, th or this is Quackshot, starring Donald Duck. Alright, so this is a Disney Sega title, as you can probably tell. One day, Donald came across an old book in Uncle Scrooge's study. The title of the book was King Garuzia's Great Duck Treasure. According to the book, Garuzia was once the leader of a great duck kingdom. Just before he died, King Garuzia hid his most prized position in a secret location. Tucked inside the book, Donald found a map showing clues to where the treasure could be found. <laughs> Donald exclaimed. Oh, I'm not gonna do... Uh, if I could find the treasure like this, I'd be richer than Uncle Scrooge. I'm not gonna do the Donald voice because I can't do a Donald voice. But one of Pete's gang had been spying through the window and saw everything. That darn Pete's gang. Donald took the map with him as he started to head home. Pete's gang chased after Donald and the treasure map. Donald could see and open the manhole ahead and jumped over it, but Pete's gang all fell in. Pete's gang all fell in. There's one guy. Donald took Huey, Dewey, and Louie to the plane to take off on the great treasure, on the treasure, great treasure hunt, but just then Daisy appeared. Donald, where are you going? You were supposed to be at my house for dinner an hour ago. <laughs> That's not a very good Daisy voice. Daisy, something very important uh, has come up. I'm going to find something special for you, and I want it to be a surprise. Donald, wait, come back. Donald! Donald and his nephews took off in their plane, leaving the a furious Daisy behind. Moments later, Pete's gang flew after them in a plane of their own. Alright, so here it is, the stage select screen. Um, so this is a kind of a, uh, you know, this is a Disney platformer kind of game. But this is also one where you technically kind of have to do a little bit of backtracking. Not too much, though. So this is a... Um, so yeah, this is kind of an interesting one. So we're going to start with the Mexico level. Uh, because uh, this way we don't have to do quite as much backtracking as we would have to normally. And there's one of Pete's gang. <laughs> I just love the fact that, you know, they didn't even, like, try justifying, like, we just have a bunch of Pete's, and it's called Pete's Gang. This music, by the way, reminds me a lot of Alex Kidd. So yeah, Mima got me this uh, game as a, uh, as a birthday present this year, which is, you know, great. Uh, she, she's really got, she's gotten me a lot of games in recent years. Uh, usually a lot of Mega Drive games, actually. Yes. And so this game actually, you know, this game is, you know, to, to my surprise, this game is actually seems to be very well known and <coughs> liked on the internet, which is a surprise for me because I never played this uh, growing up. I never even heard of it. Uh, the Mickey, the Donald Duck game. Uh, I mean, uh, I played Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. I actually did stream. Um, it uh, a little while ago. That stream did not go very well, though. Uh, but so when it comes to like Disney games on the Mega Drive, that's the first one that always comes to mind is Mickey Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, and because that's actually no no kidding, that's actually one of my top ten Mega Drive games. But there is a Donald Duck game uh, for the Mega Drive, which I did play growing up. But it's a different game. It's called uh, I think it's called The World of Illusion, starring Mickey and Donald. So that game, uh, so that game is kind of like a at least like a spiritual successor to the Castle of Illusion, whereas this game is, of course, uh, an entirely, like, a Donald solo affair. Uh, but, of course, uh, I do have to be honest, I do personally prefer Maui Mallard, a.k.a. Cold Shadow, which is a, which was, uh, made by the, uh, then by Dizzy Interactive. Oh, I got the popcorn, uh, ammo. I'm gonna be saving that up because, uh, it's actually, there's, uh, enemies. So, as you notice, the, that, uh, the suction cup doesn't actually kill any of the enemies. Donald, don't you know what you need? To need a special key to go into these ruins? I don't sound Mexican at all. I sound more like a, a Tony Wiseau. I did not hit her. I did not. A team of explorers returned to Dugburg with it. It's called the Hero Key. Thank you, sweet senorita. Yeah. 
I kind of wish I could do like a, a Donald voice, but I, I really can't. So this is this is kind of cool. So uh, when you reach a certain kind of a, a important, um, how do you say? Uh, well, a, a, basically a checkpoint. Uh, you get to drop drop like a. a you get to drop the uh, that um, uh, ma uh, that flag, and then uh, you don't have to play. W once you finally get the story item, because this is this is how most of these levels are. There's usually some story significant item that you have to get. It. <laughs> there, I got that uh, fried fowl, whatever the hell it was. Maybe it was a chicken, but that would still be kind of twisted, if you will. All right, and now I got the uh, mad. Now I'm mad. I'm mad, Donald. I'm gonna kick everybody's yes. You can kind of hear a little bit like an angry quacking sound when that happens, but I'm a little disappointed that uh, Sega didn't just use like a digitized Donald sound for that. And that's that's one of the two reasons why I still prefer Maui Mallard over this. <clears throat> hey, hey, have you seen the hero key? I've got it right here. Are you a hero? I'm trying to be a hero. Then take it, and good luck! Donald takes the hero key. Does he say the thing that it... Oh, he didn't say the thing. Okay, we, we kind of skipped that. So it, so the, so it showed Duckburg as the first location on the map, but if we had come here earlier, uh, that explorer guy would have told us that uh, we can't get past there without getting the suction cup upgrade. And we get the suction cup upgrade from this Mexican uh, pyramid. Oh, I, I skipped that by accident, oh right. What do you mean I can't use it here? It's just because I was jumping. Donald used it. All right, here we go. Yeah, so this is kind of... I do have to say, this is kind of a cool idea, but like I said, um, presentation-wise, Maui Mallard is way better game overall. Uh, it's, it's the soundtrack to that game is just superb, uh, and the fact that you do get all the different Donald noises uh, as well is, is like a nice little extra. All right. So I gotta be careful with these uh, green things because uh, they are platforms, but only if you hit them first. Ouch! Uh, yeah, the, uh, otherwise that happens. So yeah, I mean, I got me this, uh, but yeah, I do have to say this is a really good game. Like I, I really enjoyed it. It was really funny because um, uh, on the weekend before my birthday, my my sister Mina and her husband. Uh, came to visit me and gave me this game as a present and we played it the next day we played it all the way through we did play it a little bit the previous day just to get the a start a leg up on it uh, one of the good things about this game I will say in comparison to uh, the castle of illusion even though I do think castle castle of illusion is actually a better game um, is the fact that you do get infinite continues in this so there sadly is because there sadly is no password uh, for this game so this is a game that you do have to uh, beat as a single session game uh, which I think is a little bit bullshit but um, but at the same time this is the kind of game where you do where it takes you a lot longer uh, to figure stuff out when you're playing for the first time than when you're playing it for the second time and I and, and one thing I do like about this game, of course, is that it does actually remind me ever so slightly of the DuckTales uh, uh, game on NES, which of course uh, is also one of my all-time favorites, although I've also stated that, you know, I, I actually do think, I actually do uh, prefer the remaster to that. Which is not to say that the, uh, you know, I think the, any, the NES original is bad in any way, I just prefer the original because, I mean, uh, the remaster because, you know, uh, they had the or original voice cast uh, from the DuckTales cartoon show in it. And now, uh, like, it's even more, uh, and actually it's, like, even more meaningful now because, unfortunately, like, almost... Yeah, three of the voice actors in that, of the three of the original DuckTales voice actors have actually, like, passed away since that game came out, so... Yeah, sorry, that's a little bit of dark thing. Anyway, I do think, I do think so here comes one of my favorite absurd parts about this game. You go into the middle of this temple and Gorsh, Donald, it's swell to see you. Goofy, what are what are you doing here? Uh, 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 just looking around, I found this strange note. Definitely not fucking mummies or anything like that. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> you want it? Ah, uh, you bet. Gorsh, I also found this funny plunger thing. 
Maybe if you shoot it at walls and things, it will help you reach high places. A gyro and Duckburg is looking for you. Donald takes the note and red plunger. Uh, what the hell was this note about, about again? So, oh, oh, yeah, this is uh, when we get to Egypt. Yeah, this is uh, what you have to uh, use to de deactivate the death trap. The Egypt part is also really interesting because it's much harder uh, the first time around than it is the second time around because when, once you beat like the first section of the uh, of the pyramid, it reveals like a friggin' uh, shortcut that allows you to skip like half the level basically. There are actually sound effects that are in this that are recycled from Castle Illusion, which I which I will admit I really did like. You know, even though it's a, even though you could you could argue that it's a bit of like it's a bit cheap, and they just recycled some noises from that game. But you know, uh, yeah, I don't mind. I also should point out that I don't think the music in this game is bad by any means, but it's it's kind of like you know, I mean, th this music could have come from any game really. Like this isn't the only theme that I really really like in this is actually the uh, is the is the um, Duckburg theme. I think actually think the, think the Duckburg theme is really good. Actually, I think I'm gonna have the popcorn ready because I'm gonna use it on that uh, Egyptian asshole. Yes, got rid of him. So I, I noticed I'm I'm pretty low on health. Yes, all right. There's still a few of those Firefox, and the problem is that if I die now, I restart from the middle of the pyramid, so I have to make my way back out there. I hate this because I have to be patient with this. And I'm not very good at being patient in this. Yeah. Also, so, uh, another thing is, um, I've been re-watching some movies recently. I actually talked about in another Let's Play, uh, that I re-watched Rush Hour 2 just recently. And I'm planning on rewatching a whole bunch of other movies. For instance, like uh, Sean Connery passed away this year, and so um, I'm thinking of rewatching a bunch of the the older uh, James Bond movies in you know his honor. I was gonna do that earlier, but unfortunately, um, I was uh, busy busy with sh shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, and especially this this also reminds me of the Ducktales video game, especially because the third level where we haven't gone yet once is the uh, is the Transylvania level. So now this is this is the red plunger, and there's still one more plunger upgrade after this. No, ah, goddamn bees. Yeah, that 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 those bees actually remind me uh, ever so slightly of the uh, of the uh, of of like uh, uh, yeah, hard man, hard man's uh, level from Mega Man Three, which is funny because I actually I mentioned this before that I have a repro card of uh, Mega Man: The Wily Wars uh, on this. Uh, for Mega Drive, uh, and I have been, I've been, I've been planning forever. Ah, I always, uh, that one always gets me. I, I, I get, I'm never prepared for that one. And that, that's another one that I've been planning on. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh jump, almost jumped the gun there. I want a Pete's gang. <laughs> oh boy, man, I wouldn't have minded having uh, Peg be one of Pete's gang. <laughs> Actually, it's 91. I don't know if Goof Troop was on yet. Might have been, might have not, but, you know, it, it's kind of... It, it is It is really weird to me that they just decided that, oh, we're gonna have Pete's gang. I mean, I guess technically in the Goof Troop video game... Well, no, no, you didn't have... I mean, you were trying to save Pete and BJ in that, I think. But yeah, by the way, I do have the uh, Goof Troop video game for SNES as well. I mean, also got me that, that one. That one was by uh, Capcom. All right. It's really funny because that one looks like it would be like the bonus route, uh, where where you had to, you know, uh, jump previously. But it actually then turns out um, that that route is, you know, doesn't actually give you as much stuff. Donald, uh, just the fellow I wanted to see. Would you please try out my newest invention? It's bubblegum ammo. When you use it in your shooter, uh, it makes exploding bubbles. I'll give you more whenever you run out. Thank you, Gyro. <laughs> I, 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 I seriously cannot do a Donald voice. Donald takes the bubblegum ammo. Alright, and now we take the ride back. Yeah, what, what was I even on about? I, I already forgot. And also, uh, the, yeah, the fact that Gyro is in this, actually, that's another thing that reminds me of the DuckTales video game a little bit. 
So by the way, the reason I'm doing this uh, is not just because Minna gave me the uh, the, uh, the 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 car or got me the, this game as a physical copy, but uh, but also because I ran a super secret poll thingy and. By in a way, this was what people wanted me to let's play the most. Ah, goddammit. Oh yeah, so another movie that I now just re-watched is a movie that I've had in my collection uh, for a very long time, and I had watched it once previously, but I wasn't honestly just never very impressed by it, so... Uh, so I, I have obviously, I have the Dollars Trilogy on DVD, that is to say, Fistful of Dollars for a few dollars more, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Um, but that box set that I bought also uh, contains a fourth Clint Eastwood Western, which is um, not a part of the Sergio Leone family. It's just put in there because it came out roughly around the same time. All right, time for the spooky level. I, this is actually probably one of my favorite levels in the game. Not surprising at all. This, uh, this, this reminds me, especially those, like, uh, those bats in particular really remind me of uh, the Castle of Illusion. Um, Okay, but here, here I gotta be careful because that, I think that I die if I hit that water. Oh, yeah. There is a run button which is, feels really wonky. Uh, ah, goddammit. Okay, I got a one-up at least. Not that the one-ups really matter uh, that much in this because... Um, I, and I'm not going... I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding using the bubblegum ammo as much as possible. Well, I'm gonna have to use it in a few spots here, but uh, I'm saving it up when we go to uh, India to the Maharaja level, it's literally just called Maharaja, uh, because uh, that's where we will um, have a boss fight. Wow, this is the famous <laughs> Dracula's castle, and there we go again. Just straight up Dracula this time, not even Dracula duck. Alright, and here's the nice ghost. All the other ghosts in this level are assholes. Blow up the wall with the bubblegum ammo. But why in the world did you come to such a scary place? I'm looking for King Garusia's treasure. King Garusia's treasure. Now I remember. Count Dracula has the treasure map in his castle. But I don't think Dracula will give up the treasure map too easily. So yeah, you have to use the bubblegum ammo here. Uh, but I want to save it up because uh, the boss fight in, uh, in the India level... Um, requires you to, uh, well, uh, well, let, let's just say it, it's a lot easier if you use the bubblegum ammo. But the thing about the bubblegum ammo is that there's very few places. I think this is one of the few levels where you actually do get more bubblegum ammo. But generally speaking, the bubblegum ammo, you actually have, it, the game actually encourages you to go back to, uh, gyro. Which really isn't necessary because you can beat the bosses using just this, uh, you know, the suction cups. Ah. I thought I could, I would, I would be able to. Ooh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know the skeletons could do that. Yeah, like, like, like I said, there, there, there. I got a little bit of the bubblegum ammo. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I better, I better be a bit more careful now because I've been, I've been, I've been playing like a fool. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Oh, oh yeah. This is the underwater part. I hate this. This is really stupid. Oops. I was I was trying to slide. Oh crap! Oh crap! Ooh, ooh! Just barely missed the uh, the spikes there. All right, and we're gonna is, we're we're getting very far here. I think we're gonna have to pause the game uh, in a in a second. Let's see if I can get past this water section. This is this is honestly a bit bit annoying. I also don't really like this water filter. It's 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 it's. I mean, I get, we're underwater, I get it, so that's why they added it, but, you know, you could, you know, uh, I mean, I move slowly, there's bubbles coming out of my mouth, you know, they really didn't need to add the filter, it just makes everything look very, uh, hazy, and, and you know, ooh, 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 okay, yeah, thought so, uh, okay, we're fine, we're fine, everything's hunky-dory, mostly, I think, at least. Oh god, no. Alright. Yeah. I was actually thinking about... Oh. Oh no. 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 Oh no. Oh yes. Okay, good. I uh, managed to dodge that ball. I thought I was... I, 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 I thought I was gonna hit it. Alright. Oh yes, there's a chicken. Oh, seriously. That's like just barely, you know, so high that I can't reach it. Ooh, ah. 
spikes. I don't like that, but luckily I got the chicken. I'm gonna keep calling it a chicken. It, it would be tempting to call it a, a duck, but uh, no, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's a bit gross. Even though Disney could have a twisted sense of humor for once in a while. All right, but uh, we'll pause it for just a brief second here.